This is the true heartbeat of New York City, it's Brooklyn. Hi, I'm Andre Mack. I'm a husband, I'm a father, I'm a designer, I'm a winemaker, and I'm the creator of Mouton Noir Wines. And today, I'm gonna to show you my Brooklyn. The Mouton Noir translates to black sheep. And that was a nickname that was given to me when I moved to New York in 2004 by fellow sommeliers. And what it really means to me and what I think it should mean to everybody, it's about embracing what makes you different. I think Brooklyn is the creative universe in a way for me, right? I think by being here and surrounded by other creatives, it's really helped me push the limits of my creativity and what I can accomplish and what I could do. I can honestly say that I probably wouldn't have the success that I have today if I did not live here. Well, that was a good pass, that was a good pass. And so now we're headed to one of my favorite wine shops in all of Brooklyn, Little Mo Wine, which is just down the street from my house. Hey, Mark, what's up, man? Hey, how, how are going? you? Doing good, did you get that case of wine? Absolutely. They shipped it? Great, good Thanks to see you, so man. Much. One of the best reasons why I love this store is that it's just friendly and it's inviting. How could you not be excited about picking wine to have like this little wine maze of like, what to, how to choose wine for dinner, right? That's fun, right? You don't have that in most wine shops. That's not considered a serious wine shop, but don't let this place fool you. It's very serious, the selection is great. And don't forget, this is New York, and so they do deliver. We're at the Brooklyn Museum, just got off the train, it's a straight shot from Manhattan, so you definitely have no excuse for not making it here. I love being able to walk from my house and being inspired by world-class artists, and that's why this museum is so special to me. I spent so many hours here, not even in the inside of the museum, but even on the outside. My children learned to walk on this green patch over here. So now we're off to one of the best kept secrets in all of Brooklyn, Blue Marble Ice Cream. Make sure you get here early to fight off the locals. This is a local hangout. So this is ice cream with a cause, right? And they've opened up several locations around the world to kind of help stimulate the economies. What I really like about coming here is, is that not only do they have their traditional flavors, they have things that are kind of off the wall, like a rosemary ice cream. And this really brings me to my happy place. This is so great. Thank you so much, Chad. Yeah. This is definitely off the beaten path and it's something that you have to look for, but it's worth seeking out. We're at one of my favorite places in all of Brooklyn, Franny's. So I'm super excited to be here. What makes this place really great is that they're wood-burning fire oven, right? So you can see all the wood here. They put it in the fire here, and they make these really terrific pies. Everything's sustainably farmed and locally grown. What's going on, Andre? Hey, what's going on, Richard? What's up, baby? How you doing? One of my favorite parts about eating pizza here at Franny's is that you get these, right? And this is how you cut your pizza. Oh, this looks delicious. Oh, that's so good. So great. If you're not making your way to Franny's, then you're not living right. And now I'm off to one of my favorite places of all time, the Grand Army Plaza Farmer's Market. That's beautiful. And this is the center, the hub of everything cultural in Brooklyn. Right over here we have the Grand Army Plaza Arch, which is modeled after the great Arc de Triomphe in Paris. We have the public library and we have the botanical gardens. One of the best parks in all of this country is actually Prospect Park, very similar to Central Park, but done in Brooklyn's own way. If you're taking a trip to Manhattan, spend the extra day, come to Brooklyn, take it from me. I used to live in Manhattan, right? And it took five years for me to get here. And that was five years too long. And I'm telling you right now that you gotta make it here. You gotta get here. I'm Andre Mack, and I am Brooklyn.